They got no chance. Oh! Oh man! Oh, and now it's the arrow time! Oh goodness! They do not have it. Oh! <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Ada to try and we're back again with Rome to Total War, the Davidate and Paramount the Ice City Hard Campaign. Oh, that takes a breath out. Okay. Rome's Auxiliary Barracks now acts as a recruitment center for the AOR units in a given area. Yeah. It takes AOR. <coughs> I have no freaking idea, man. It is these well-fed, long-haired men that I fear, but the pale and hungry-looking. Mmm. Might be a bit more desperate. Okay. Okay. Back again, and the nervy who are entering the battle, man. Let's get back to this. Okay, so our cash flow got freed up because of an unfortunate defeat. And now we are just looking at re-establishing ourselves. They go through four, four, and not doing that just yet. This one, the old-fashioned one. Yes, this is old-fashioned army, Mists of Doom. We lost our best armies. We lost them. Okay. Now, why would I have left this open? I'm just trying to rethink my steps. The Roy. Oh yeah, I was looking. I was gonna take those out and leave the Roy in, and take a slow goes are gonna go out as well. Okay, yeah, I'm doing a retool. I'm just probably waiting for a bit more. Oh, sure, leave. Okay, got another choice there. Uh, let's look at a Got some more squalor. Mmm, dang. Ah, what? Okay, after that, I need to look into this because I can get these things even higher. No, that'll take a while. That's gonna. Oh man, it's gonna take all the way until I get here. Oh, that'll add to the growth. Hmm, drainage ditch. Okay, now this is still underdeveloped. It doesn't do much. Minus seven on banditry. It's too bad nothing here really increases public order except for these ones, but well your faction is an empire. What if we're not? What if we're not an empire? Come on now. I mean we achieved them. Imperial level five, we aren't even there yet. The frick. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not even there yet, freaking egg. Okay, either way, either way, let's let's just think about this. Let's look at the family. I'm getting lost on track. No! Yentu! I saw Yentu, he lost on no, Oh man, I gotta freaking get my perspective back. Uh, ooh, good on ya! Freaking Rebracos! Rebracos is, is getting them kids. Okay. <clears throat> Ten. Oh, these guys are gonna come in fast. Gabanito, Gobanito, how are you doing? Uh, freaking eight percent. Public order penalties. You just need to get freaking going. You just need to stay out of my provinces, basically. Okay, but he don't have the reputation to do that. So yeah, okay. So next turn. They're invading in the north. <clears throat> oh no, it happened. It actually happened. I had a concern about this. A west coast invasion, east coast invasion. I don't think we have the strength to hold. It's We're going to have to try and hold two points of entry from the Alverni as well as one from the Nervi. Oh goodness. I, I really I had a thought. But I didn't even see them approach. They just slid right through, which is weird because it's supposed to be a dead zone of water. And his banner looks fairly unaffected. <sighs> it's not good. 
It's the first time a borocone has been under threat since we freaking started, basically. Well, since we took it. Mm-hmm. We know. We probably got a mission saying, get him. Get him now. Uh, Travis, that's the closest we can get. And what what's in their army? And Borokon is not going to be set up for a siege. You guys are. But look how pathetic their movement range is compared to these guys. Ready for orders. Uh, at the very least, we're going to have to get up there. It doesn't matter about the Averni, but the sad thing is there's two of them. <sighs> yeah, we're just going to get overwhelmed. Okay, you're in range there. What do we need to make this army a bit more imposing? What's this? Ah, oh, that's an interesting one. Missile damage range 23. Men attack only 10. Yeah, that's quite low. They look like a fairly interesting soldier type, but they don't look that... They just don't have the last capabilities that I need. Hmm. And medium cavalry, so they've got the attack of medium cavalry more or less, but they've got no armor. Not that these guys did a good job either, they didn't really do a good job themselves. Especially for such overpriced units. I mean, we got the Aroi, we got some decent melee soldiers, but against that, I don't think we'll be able to hold that well. We might just need bulk to overwhelm them, so maybe I should just get some mass soldiers. Like Urargi. Urargi are good for just damaging them. These guys aren't very good, but these guys can at least bring the pain. Yeah, so if I manage to turbo load six Urargi in there, we might just have the the mass, the sheer mass of troops to fight that off. This is not going... This is where we are very likely looking at a downward spiral. Very likely. And look at that, why is his range so small? I know it's winter, but the other army had great range. Is the Lithobolos that much of a a negative impact? See, so yeah, I've already got an enemy fleet. Enemy fleet. Okay, so they've, they've given up on armies after our last fight, which is a good sign. These guys are just keeping their eyes on us. Flavum. We're gonna need to take Flavum. That's if we ever could. It's not looking good from a long-term standpoint. Like our armies are going to be running around, which in the in the previous in the vanilla is doable, but the problem with this is the negative impacts of an invasion are so severe in this mod that I do not think I can survive a, f a few of these because they just they affect your public order for so many turns afterwards. They affect your finances, they affect your culture, they just destroy everything. If you so much as allow a single enemy army to get on your territory, it's massively more destructive than what happens in the vanilla. Okay, cool for you, dude, but... Okay, there's nothing else that we can do. I just really hope that they only besiege a Barakon and don't try and take it. But it will be massively in their favor to try and take it, so we're just gonna have to see. It's not, there's nothing else I can do, really. I can't turbocharge this any faster. Like, it just is what it is. That that came as a freaking ambush. So let's see if this is indeed the final nail that will start our decline. And let's go to the next turn. Okay, druid. Okay. Who's the Kalakoni? Who are these people, and why do they hate me? These people. Okay, okay. I think the the system of the game has pretty much started kicking in, which is everybody's declaring me to be the enemy. So yeah, I, it is definitely slower than legendary because legendary it just 
spirals very very fast. Cotini. Where's the Cotini? I don't see Cotini. What the heck is a Cotini? Hmm. Okay. Oh, there you go. Let's see. Oh, oh right way. What do you, oh, they're just, mm, oh, let's see, can I access them, can I talk to them? Okay, well, they don't have big problems with me, but I can't trade with them. So these dudes just decide to fight me too. Which is weird, because you guys actually have, aren't that strong. Why do you do this? Okay. The, the double cross from the Nervi has definitely been the worst thing, because they... They should have become my became my trading partners. We had had a good relationship with them for the longest time. Why did you do that? Your next you see, I don't have my friends. If my friends from the city would have joined me, I would have felt more confident about this. What's this? These guys don't look very strong. Belgay medium spearmen. The upkeep is quite low. Although, just looking at this, it looks like they got... Okay, they got some decent upkeep units. I just wanted to say, it looked like another middle finger was forming, but... It looks like the, the PC is expected to pay. Expect to pay for the soldiers. And just how they are affording it, I do not know. Now we got a new contender. From the Avernie yet again. Coming up to ruin my life. Um, well, now if I wanted two fifty, two fifty, one ninety six, if I was real fast, because I don't. Let me just take a look. Aroy, Aroy, Aroy. Do we have enough? Oh, we don't have enough air. Fantastic. I know. Okay, so if you head into Camelot Down, I'm in big trouble. Like I'm in a lot of trouble. Like these, look at that, these freaking fleets can attack Iska again. Iska is just not strong enough. The poor people from Iska are just pretty much adapted to constant raids. But I can see that freaking fleet guys angling there. Now, here's the thing. If, uh, let me see. Okay, I can use the air of this area. That was just my plan. So, we need just to cycle between these two gaps and hold off the enemy. Now why my finances got so bad is a bit beyond me. That's a bit of a big knock. A bit of an unexpected knock. Gotta say. Arroyo cheap to build. 717. Must be a special. Uh, okay, okay. So yeah, let's keep with that because the money actually went up. The frick? Okay, so that's one, yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. But we'll fix that soon. Um, okay, so we're just gonna have to wait over there. Oh, the money I, is, the, is the money I would usually have used on an extra fleet. Extra fleet member. So we're a bit strained in our fleet capacity. Now, how do you get on that side? I thought so, so I have to go. Yeah, 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 I get you, I get you. So that's what's up there. Freaking river. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, considering Rome is at war with me and the two closest neighbors that are fairly similar to my strength, if not stronger, are, oh, well, they are stronger. The Narvi and the Verni are stronger than I am. Have they cleared war on me and now just random nobody are they clearing war on me? <sighs> it looks like this campaign will end. We just. I don't know how long we can hold out. This is, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to watch some videos on how to play this mod because it's it's something else. It's its functions are confusing at all friggin'. Okay, fourteen. At least we're getting some strength up. But okay, so let's let's go to the next turn, see what happens. Oh Almost missed that way, yeah. And what okay, he's in that army. Beautiful, beautiful. So we need that. Construction cost, upkeep. Yeah, look at that freaking hundred bonus. Beautiful. Uh, my custom freaking. Oh, 
like that. What's that? A dog? Yeah, the guard dog. That's minus cultural conversion, but wealth. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, so next turn. Okay. Oh no. What? Why can't I hunt? Or does it cost me money? This is a bit unfair. Look there. I can't select it. Once again, you're sort of just giving me the finger. Fine. If you want to give me the finger, I'll have to take it, I guess. Um, unfortunately, please don't say that it's okay. It's not the. Uh, still. Oh, who is it then? Six. Oh, man. So it was one of them. Man, that hadn't happened in a very long time. Okay. They had another kid, so that's good for them. Please grow up. 15! Come on, Abydos! Abydos' legacy is freaking holding on by a thread. Get to it, my, my, little, my little lad. You gotta get up to it. Okay, so the Averny, once again, was a bit of a bluff. They just left as soon as they, they could. Easy for us. I can't disband because if I disband, I... Well, I might just disband anyway. Uh, okay, so this is an awkward impasse. These people are just hanging around here. You see, I can't get them. That's a problem. I can't get them. You know, even though I'm right next to the city, I've got a, f a concern about a middle finger. I've got a concern about a middle finger that he's going to attack me and the thing's just going to say, no, nah, it doesn't count. Because it's happened so many times before. Uh, now, my other problem is... Do I stop him from moving through? I don't. So he might attack Ratai just to get my frustration. I think I will actually remove my Tegislagos. Let me see. Who are you? Who are you? You are Canichios. Canichios? Do I have someone in my family called Canichios? Oh yeah, didn't I have the habit of... Um, yeah, making the, the husbands, the the generals. Well, maybe Gobanito. Maybe Gobanito can become general. Let's replace this one. Because then I can replace him with the Aroe. Let's go, let's go. Uh, Gobanito! With the Aroe. And then let's we'll bring back Kanichios with the Aroe after this. Nah, you're not gonna need it. But that's neat. And then you can remove these two, because I know Tegas logos are useful, but the cash flow must survive. Unfortunately, cash strapped. And we're gonna need to have a very high degree of mobilization. Um, it's gonna have to be sustained somehow. So let's see this fleet. The fleet's. Oh no! They got the slip on me there. Where'd the fleet go? They couldn't have gone here. They had to go over there somewhere. There, uh, there was a whole Averni fleet that was like 16 freaking um, units. Where the heck did that go? This is concerning. I don't think it went to the left because we would have seen it. I don't think fleets can ambush. Can you ambush? Can you ambush? I don't think you can. It's just raiding patrol. No, they can't ambush. What the frick? <sighs> Because what I'm wondering is, can I move these guys up? They can fight. Those guys I'm doubtful about. The Hunters of Cocodius. I'm doubtful that the Hunters of Cocodius can fight. But I know for a fact that these guys, the Mists of Doom, can. So if I can just get these guys to switch out, I can deal with these guys. Of the Swords of Glory. Otherwise, I don't want to sacrifice these guys. And I'm not going to be able to afford a Lithobolos for a very, very long time. Oh, Combrogoi. And more Koryoruno. Boo. These guys are never very useful. <laughs> He's standing with a spear, but it says axes and swords. What the prick? But okay, okay. So that's about. Let me see. Have you got some cash? But he's still too young to marry. He's got no freaking gravitas, got no riz, basically. We'll see next turn if this freaking whoosh, and that. We'll see if they grow up. 
But for now, let's. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. My spy, my spy. My spy, I just need. I need to find somebody that doesn't hide me. And basically, everybody along the coast that I've seen has a real big problem with me. I can't believe we pushed down all the way to Cenabum and we're looking at invading Bibrecht when a freaking onslaught started. But either way, we'll if we manage to repulse them, which looks like it could happen, just saying could, then we might need to push over and fight the Nervi and try and gain a foothold there because the Averni are significantly more vicious. The Nervi don't even have the will to raid. They're just standing on our ground and they're like, we don't really know why we're here. It's like what the phony war when France invaded and they were like, was it? No, wait, wait, that was after. France invaded Germany and they were like, well, this feels weird and they just <laughs> went back. They, were, they, they had no reason to go back. It was just like, nah, this is not, don't like it. So, yeah, uh, let's see, can I replace you back? Let's replace him back with Canichios. Gizorios. Rebricos. Abalos. Senesticos. Okay, so we can't just yet because he has to return to his post, I think. Okay, so next turn, we'll see what we can do from there. Okay. There are not enough freaking. Yeah, yeah. There's not enough paper in my library to keep track of how many enemies I have. At this point, like, oh man, for every one lost, we gain somewhat more. Um, but this is sad. Let's see. Please don't tell me it was an old one. Please. How are you guys not freaking yet? He's 15. Why are you still? Okay, <laughs> somebody, we lost another child. This one, age of six, two. Goodness, these two are not. Oh, well, this one, eight. This family tree is not doing very well at this point. For some reason they are being heavily affected. Your gravitas is high. Why can't you get married? Seriously, do we not have 230 gold? We don't have 230 gold. I thought we did. Whoopsie. Okay, so the Luigi, I joined the enemies. It, it looks like the whole map has just decided to Dude, turn their attention. Yes, 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 yes. The whole map has just decided that I am enemy number one. I live mm, doesn't seem to be anything I can do. Now, I checked. The Averni seem to be going around the horn so I think they are attacking the Lusitani which I can't imagine that the Lusitani are having a good time be oh they not they definitely aren't the Romans are busy if the Lusitani are as strong as I am they're not having a good time the Romans are just pushing them off the map speak quickly yo like the Romans are at war with Everybody but my enemies. For some reason, they're at war with everybody but my enemies. Which is very annoying. Because if they were at war with my enemies, that would be a huge help to me. But from what I can see, the Nervi are very timid. They're not really pushing the envelope. So I just need to not have him attack. Which is one turn away. And then I should be able to deal with him in the next turn. Is it autumn? Yeah, it's autumn. So it's a bit unpleasant. You just have to wait that little bit. But after we've dealt with him, we now have two armies yet again. And what looks like, at least for now, a distracted Arverni. Probably Romans. Oh, still not Romans. Romans are kind of close by. Oh, what are these guys? Well, yeah, the map definitely seems to have fallen under a few empires. These guys are definitely an empire. They're... I can't remember what they usually are. This, well, they're basically the Scythians. There are a few small, like, pocket kingdoms left in the middle, and they are just aggressive as because they need to make something work. So now they're all siding against me. But the Nervi that are still quite strong, the Averni that are much stronger, although I've got to say, with how much the... I don't know if, they, if the Averni own all of this... But it doesn't look like they're supposed to be as strong as they are, given the territory that they encompass. And Nervi, a decent swath of territory, but they don't seem to be as strong. The Lusitani are very weak because they're being pummeled off the map by the Romans. The Romans are definitely the big empire. They're just bashing everybody around. So, I 
in my precarious position would need to target the Narvi as they've made themselves an enemy of mine. If I can successfully land at Flevum, I could push through and take what used to be the Simbri territories, or the territories you would want to take as the Simbri, and work from there. But this is very tenuous because it all depends on are these guys planning something. One thing, I, I think we can actually undo some of these guys. Because I doubt that he's going to attack me after all this time that he hasn't. For some reason I don't want to delete the last two. Because I've just got this feeling he might want to push through the garrison if he can to avoid this army coming. But yeah, I think that's about it for now. And we'll land and see what we can do about this. I'll send this army. Kobanito, um, should we? Yeah, I should probably switch you out again. Doctrix, Gazorios, Rebricos, Abelos, and Canichios. Now we're gonna hunt. Why? Why are you charging me for this? Okay, fine. Middle finger, I guess. Middle finger accepted. Whatever. Real messed up. Once again, this freaking thing just gives you its shots when it can. Really annoying. But okay, then Gazorios is being trained up. Or Gobanito is being trained up, I guess. So hopefully he doesn't bring shame to us. But okay, so next turn. Okay, let's see. Yes! Finally! <laughs> he was like, hey, if my cousin is massive and he's the same age as I am, why am I so small? <laughs> and he decided maybe it's time to grow up. Yes! Abadosa's legacy lives! Oh man, is that good news. We we lost Abadosa so unfairly and at such a young age. And now finally his child has come to stride the battlefield. <sighs> Love that. Personal bard. Freaking awesome. Do that. Personal bard. Oh, that's real good news. Go Barnito! We're still waiting on that. Let's see. I'm still gonna see if I can switch out Go Barnito, but winter it is then. How can I be losing soldiers in the freaking city? No? Okay, I'm in the range. So I wanna actually send this army south. I seem to be suffering. I just don't wanna be caught. But I think I can. I really don't want to be caught in the shenanigans of this game. Because the shenanigans are so intense. I don't think, I don't know of any game that has shenanigans like this. It's just every single way it can. It's like, oh, this rule counts now. Oh, but it doesn't count no more. Oh, 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 it counts for them and not for, oh, oh, oh. Just pulls a freaking rag over your eyes non-stop. So I don't want to risk it. Let's see. Uh, Gazorios got married. 16. He's getting up in the years. You gotta get some kids going. What's up? He's got a po- Oh. Next banquet, dear, would you? Would you one of my special sauce on the menu? N no. Why are you a poisoner? What's up? Why would you do that? Gifted husband. Aye. More capable than others. Attributes and all. Okay, man. That's good stuff. Mm. Why would anybody say yes to that? It's just cunning. Such a little small benefit. Uh, no, that's not bad. Take this one. So you're going to get some gravitas. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, cash-wise, we're surviving. But now I can get rid of the Uragi. Because they're a bit high. 117 is a fairly high amount of upkeep to have to give to a unit that's... Not a throwaway unit, but definitely not the main main deal he can still head up if he wants to which is a, a genuine peril oh I'll have to see okay so there's not much more it looks like the Averni sent some of their fleets in here so they might be coming back we just don't know at this point the main objective is to control our seas and to, to send our soldiers to Flevum that's what I would say is our long-term objective which we will be able to start thinking about after we get rid of this and hopefully there's not an enemy fleet coming. Now I need to also have this fleet patrol the area to make sure. Let's actually see the range on that. We'll get some range going. Let's just take a look. Do we get some, some view? Can we get some view? 
Wow, I got no view on the situation at all. Despite going that far out. Goodness. Okay, we can't see anything through this freaking fog. I'll just send back because that, that's a lunch. That's not a, an enemy fleet. We were basically nothing. So might as well have that. Okay, well, at least the lads finally grown up and not succumbed to a cold, which was a definite concern. Go bonito, so we got a new generation of generals that are coming up. It's going to be real useful. It looks like the, the bad, tough times for our family have finally ended. I think you were the best. Adiatorix, I think you were like our, our warrior king. But okay, okay, so next turn, and then we'll see how we deal with this nervy incursion. Let's go! Okay. Hmm. Oh, didn't I? Oh, it's a lot of attrition. Yes! One more! Pow! These are the dark times. Pirate spot? What do you talk about, pirate spot? I don't see any pirates. The frick? Oh, it's up there. Don't see them at all. Okay, so these guys are salty because we're about to attack them. Beautiful! It's finally happening. Now, I can send these guys down because our cash flow is improving marginally, which is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It's wonderful. We do! Agreed! So, oh, Amos! Yeah! He's freaking 15, he's joining the ranks. Tux oppose upcoming and more attacks. So, we've got a strong fourth generation, I want to say. What's this? This one? Well, the, the, he wasn't really doing anything, really. So, it's one, two, which really struggled. These two were really weak. Or really stressed. Three with Abydos and his legacy, the fourth generation. We're pushing it through. Go Abydos. I'm very proud of Abydos for his legacy pushing. Just refused to succumb to the sands of time. And his son just refusing to succumb to a cold. Huh? You might look not so strong, but you might be the strongest among us. Okay, so he's nine. They're struggling. Their legacy is severely being damaged by the freaking cold. Like three freaking kids out of one, two, yeah, six. And they're facing some tough times. Definitely facing some tough times. He's three are upcoming, but they're still very young. Ooh, Vanos is new laddie. Beautiful. And these three also very young. But you guys are here to hold on. We're gonna call you the, the brother cousin people fighters. It's the dream. So they're holding it down for us while we're getting our stuff sorted. Out to, to the mother indeed. Now let's see. Okay, so Gobanito is still gonna you're just gonna be our general, I guess. I'm just gonna need to be careful of him. Thank goodness. You never know when you're gonna get a middle finger. That could very well have said, oh you lost movement range. Because he this thing just does stuff like that. I'm so scared. Of doing anything and then the thing just gonna say no, I don't go no more. Okay, let's just fight them. Let's let's end this for our people. We will end this tyranny now. Yes. Uh, let's see. Whoa. Okay, let's see if we can get better better odds out of this. So, it is a very very encouraging sign that the Nervi have been very timid. They've been very, very timid in their uh, invasion. So hopefully this is also reflected in their um, tactical map behavior. Can only hope in their, their overall behavior as a faction. Like I am very confident of this result. Getting bad weather. There you go, finally. Um, but I do need to remember if I mess this up, there are a lot of negative impacts if I mess this up. Okay, so not much. The only units that can move ahead closer. Okay, my mouse, my middle mouse button problem is now reflecting itself. There you go. Seems to be a bit dependent on where my mouse wheel position is. I just need to keep my eye on that. Come on, need to turn. This is gonna make it a bit tough. Okay, so one, 
two, three, four. I want them to be as close as I possibly can get them. Noble fighters. So they are limited in the length that they can assume. Whereas these guys are a bit less limited. So I want my Roy to be the strong center. The strong center that doesn't really yield to the enemy. And then my Cludargos can sweep around when the time is right. So that's my plan. Let's take a look at this. Come on, mouse wheel. I do not want to deal with this. I really don't. Uh, please. I, this is not something I can keybind or fix. This is a mechanical issue with my tools. Please. Get a grip. There you go. Okay, so let's survey the situation. We are barely... We've got range on them, so we can hit them. So that's a good thing. They've got a very small amount of cavalry. Come on now. I'm just going to have to pick an angle that is most beneficial to fight from because this mouse wheel is having some problems. Okay. That looks to be it. Okay. We just need to be ready to swing out a Cludargo if we need... Uh, oh, Cludobro. Whoopsie. I thought there were Clu uh, Cludargos. Um, just in case that cavalry decides to swing wide. But I think we're good. I think we're good. So, let's see what they say. Now we take this settlement and fight through their streets with nothing but rage and hatred. For these pathetic foes who cower and hide behind these walls. Show them no mercy. Huh, so he treats it like a siege. Our hidden units have been discovered. I didn't know we had any. Okay, so let's see. They've, oh, they got two. They seem to have two of them. Beautiful. Okay, so they got two cavalry units. Three. Okay, they've got more than I thought. Three is a bit of an issue. One I thought was not going to be too difficult, but two to three, that's a bit of an issue. We need to give ourselves as much time as possible to just keep pelting them. Yeah, there you go. They're a bit scattered. Because, yeah, these guys are going to stand. They're not going to do much. I agree. We are going to teach them a lesson. Uh, Roy is what we're going to depend on to really push that front open. <clears throat> and the Cludobros. <sighs> they're going to need to be ready. They're going to be pushed. Let's see. Oh, it did nothing. The spears do nothing. One of our units has used all its ammunition. I know, and it looks to have been very ineffective. Okay. So there's our big problem. Look at that. They're shaken. Don't shake. Don't shake them. Okay, they're not responding. That's not a good sign. Those Cludobros took a very long time to respond to my order. Like you guys need to be a bit more awake. Our general is under attack. Okay, just reform. Don't, don't, don't do more than that. Just reform. They will bleed for us. Agreed. What's this? Okay. Ugh, they're just gonna have to take the hit. Noble fighters! Fighters! Okay. Melee fighters, are you winning? It says combat even, which is a bit concerning. The oaks are our 
These guys are just gonna have to hold them. Okay, there you go. Wow, they're suffering quite a lot. Uh, he's holding. You fall back. What the heck? Why did you give up? They just gave up on that pursuit. What the frick's wrong with you? You can't just do that. They should be executed. If I didn't need you that much in battle, I would have freaking executed your unit. What the heck's wrong with them? They just freaking up and left. Cost us freaking soldiers. Get around there. You freaking not worthy to fit this freaking position. What the heck? Okay, that flank is vulnerable. They're not broken. They claim to be, but it's just a ruse. These guys are trying to reach our freaking um, the Thabolos. These guys are gonna fold. And for some reason they're doing a very bad job of fighting against some fairly normal soldiers. Yep, I thought so. Now just come back. They're gonna come anyway, so we might as well uh, get in there. You get in there. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, that should do it. Just note the emphasis on the word should. Because we've gotten some freaking big surprises in the past. And despite how well this is going, this thing is giving me the downside in this battle. Like, look there. That's not looking very positive for me. Which I'm a bit surprised by. Our, our Roy, our... Maybe I should have remembered to do that. Units has used all its ammunition. What the heck? We've got an idle Arroy. Get going. That shouldn't be. Shouldn't be having any idle Arroy units. Uh, yeah, get in there. Okay, I'm just. I keep feeling like that cavalry unit's still gonna turn around and come fight us. I didn't want my freaking general to be committed too much to this battle because of his inexperience. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought it would be these guys. Okay. If you guys can't survive, just go get a breather. Go get a breather. Don't don't break. Just don't break. Just One get a breather. Just get a breather. Okay, don't break. Oh, you guys. Okay, you come commit to battle. Why are they not committing to battle? Come commit to battle. Like these guys just keep look at that. Come commit to battle, you guys. You're freaking slow. Like your refusal to commit to battle is gonna cause us real problems. It's not funny. Like they're being super lazy and they're supposed to really be helping. We can't have an Arroy unit being lazy. We can't have it. We need the Arroy to be as active as possible to reduce casualties in this fight. One of our units has used all its ammunition. So them just being like, I don't feel it. I don't feel it, bro, is not gonna pass. You've gotta feel it. You gotta feel it. And commit to this freaking battle. There, get in there. It's slightly turning in my favor. It makes me feel like there's some sort of a trump god that they have somewhere because considering how many of them are retreating they still haven't really shifted it over to a real victory for me. Like it still looks like it's anybody's battle in by their estimate. Like look there, that's not a very positive one.
Close victory I agree with. The battle is turning in our favor. Oh, it's about time that you recognize. Okay. So whoop. The frick? These guys are still going. Let's see. Thank goodness they can take on some archers. Okay, so number two. Let's just get a good idea of what's left. Okay, so they've got Come on, mouse wheel. Okay, because I want to have this go by as painless as possible, we're gonna be doing fights from the flank, from the front. Fighters! Hmm. Committed soldiers now, aren't you? Number two, get that guy, and number three, get this guy. Okay. Surrounding them. There you go. So yeah, this is a close victory, but I think we did a little bit better than this thing predicted. Let's see, we're gonna see right now. What? Whoa, they had a freak. And a general waiting here, freaking what a coward. Okay, let's see. Yes, we did better. 75% left. So, good on us. Food of the... Oh, mushrooms with poison cloud, yes. Nero. I just want to say that's some freaky stuff to say, but now... Oh, okay, Nero said it. Now it makes sense. Look at that impact. Look at that. That is a, a, a fifth. This is a tenth of my army, but I did a fifth of the casualties. So Lithobolos are worth it, but they need to be part of a very well defended army. Well set up army. The Aroi did very little. I'm actually very disappointed in the Aroi. Like, look how much these guys had to carry the burden. I didn't expect them to carry the burden. I expected the Aroi to do it. The Roy suffered very heavy casualties, but I might be saying that a bit too unfairly because I think the Roy did the work of resisting the enemy shield wall. Whereas I sent these guys around, so it might not be that the Roy did a bad job, it might just be that they did the tough job and as a result have a little less favorable result than the other platoons. Oh yeah! Okay, so that's the result of a Naravi invasion. Um, I quite frankly wish they went to war with us instead of the Averni because they are a lot more pleasant. Hello! Let's do it. Let's, let's catapult him to pieces. Hey, you were such a coward, you tried to sit out the last battle, so we're gonna catapult you and your unit to pieces. It's the second battle of Ibarakan. Well, there were some previously between me and the original factions that owned the place, but that's, that's 40 years ago. It's ancient history. Okay, so if this is what the Nervi are like, then please be dry. Yes, it's the same as the previous one. Um, they are a much more preferable enemy to the Averni. The Averni were so much more battle focused than these guys. Uh, okay, I'll just do this. Let's do it properly. Dang! Swords! Spurs! These dudes have a freaking eternal cry of war. Mmm. Ready for what? We're ready for battle. Returns! 
That's actually quite funny. Okay, let's roll! We are the soldiers of pride. Look at that. Look how prideful they are. They're just like, yeah. Oh! Didn't plan on that, did ya? I agree, man. You're gonna need some help here. This is gonna be tough. Oh! Oh! Yo! There's a few of them down, huh? They ain't getting up again. Yo! 69! Hey! Nice! Nice! <laughs> Let's see the next volley. I don't think they're gonna last until they get to our lines. Our hidden units have been discovered. 57. It's a piece by piece. Come on, next, next volley. Oh, there you go. That's 57, 48, shaking. They got no chance. Oh! Oh man! Oh, and now it's the arrow time! Oh goodness! They do not have it. Oh! <laughs> Let's see what happens. The enemy general is dead. Marvelous! Okay, it's all over. Okay, let's just. Yo, but they pelted. 31. Okay, so. In metal! Marvelous! Metal. No losses for us. That's the dream. And we took out the general. Okay. So that's the end of the Narvi. Their first incursion. Well, you almost want to say the second because they did try and fight me with a fleet at least once so far. So you might want to count this as the second. But this is the first landing on British soil that has just been repulsed. Beautiful. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, ouchie. Oh, oh, and boink. That eagle didn't help you now, did it? Down he goes. And more cash. Oh, sweet cash. Oh. We are rewarded for our victory. <sighs> That's why we kill him in the field. So we definitely get that, um, both the cash and the victory. The surety that he won't be coming back. So, I got a fleet. So they are also getting ready for some shenanigans. It's these guys came back with quite a lot less soldiers. So they're doing something down there. They're figuring out we're only up to something, like always. Ready for battle. <sighs> we got this invading force. We got this. So they just got the extra spearmen, and then they've got the lithobolos. I'm trying to see what I really need to make this a uh, very, very good fighting force. Uh, melee attack of 10 is quite low. What's our Roy? 10 as well. Our Roy is quite low as well. Huh, no wonder. So you'd need the Roy just to pin the enemy in place and the, the Clud, uh, Cludobros to really do the final damage. The Cludobros have got a very high expenditure. Whereas these guys are 14. This is not too much. Uh, the problem with our Roy is they can't stand very wide. They can't take a very wide battlefront and we need a wide battlefront. Unfortunately, we fight we fight big armies. We don't fight small armies. The enemy usually comes packing with some freaking big action. Some big freaking... Oh, don't spread rumors. Don't spread rumors, you're a dude. Dude should never spread rumors. It's a very, very, un very unbecoming. Don't do it. Uh, let's see. Okay. <laughs> uh, seven. 52, 52. Ah, oh, they don't like it. They don't like it. They don't like it. At least they're getting up again. Strings of battles. Just look at all this. Five. Okay, these are as I took the island. At least these are, but frick, some of these, huh? 
I'm fighting a lot of battlefields. This land is being scarred of battle. Huh. Is there a beach up here? That'll do. Oh, there is actually a beach up here. So if you're very desperate, you can invade from the very, very far north. But I don't think you'd have much of an army left after, after all the plague and sickness on the sea. So if I send them down here, I'll just send them down and then have them come through the coast. I know this is here, but I want them to have some time to recuperate. They're probably going to need that. This can help us with replenishment. Patrol unit minus minus negative, but a lot of negative there. Minus morale, all of that. It's not good. It's not good for the crew. This gives us some replenishment, but we not able to activate that right now. And then Flevum's over there, but this stretch is going to be perilous. At the very least, I need to have us joined up with the fleet. If the Verni are actually chill, we might be able to really. Um, <clears throat> monetize on this opportunity and actually get possession of Flevum. We would need that. We're going to need to take somebody on and the Nervi appear to be the target. These guys are not going to be good. Oh, how about you guys? A lovely hat. Just got to say. But beyond that... Oh no. Rome is already pushing. Yeah, Rome is... So Rome probably owns everything here. Oh, and they happen to be at war with me. It's it's not painting a good picture. <clears throat> Let's see. And here's the freaking Scythians already. Very interesting hut they. Okay, so we are waged between four the four great empires. The Lusitani are definitely on their way out. Of the four great empires, three have declared war on me. So, it's not looking... The, the only one that hasn't is the Scythians, and they don't like me. So, it's not looking positive. It's definitely doesn't look positive. And then we've got the pirates. But okay. Okay, so I'm going to save for now. This is just where we are at the moment. At least we repelled the Narvi, which could have been a lot worse if we didn't do it. But... I'm thinking we're going to have to focus on the Nervi and try and take the north and then take the Averni because the Averni are just too powerful. The Nervi are powerful but they seem timid so we might be able to push them back and actually take their territory and fight the Averni because we need something. We're being whittled down and at least we managed to resist that but we they're going to get one through at some point. And we've got two f two armies that are very near full, which are going to strain the, the treasury significantly. So we're going to need to really uh, make them effective by attacking something. But thank you very much, everybody. There's been Edo of Child with the Davide at Imperium of the Rome 2 Total War. I see you in hot campaign. And I'll see you in the next episode where we replenish, we rest, and we get ready to invade the Nervi because they seem to be a much easier opponent. So thank you very much and have a very good day. Bye-bye.